welcome to Moldova, a brand new country I have never been to before. Yesterday we took the bus from Odessa here to Chisinau. It was quite a long journey, about five and a half hours, but it all went well at the borders and that's the most important part, right? So here we are today in Chisinau, having a day to look around the city and check out this very underappreciated and unknown capital of Europe. It's often called the ugliest capital of Europe or there's nothing to see, stuff like that. So I will have a close look today and find some good spots for you. Let's get this day started. impressions of Chisinau it's very quiet and peaceful what a contrast to busy Odessa we've experienced over in Ukraine I'm now just sitting in a little park next to the Triumph Arc this one was built after the victory of the Russians over the Osman Empire it had a war a few centuries ago all right now gonna continue my look around the city it's really small and quaint so very relaxing city tour today I'm no expert in architecture, but the architecture style of this city is definitely very interesting. It's a nice mix between old Soviet buildings and more classical buildings you would find in cities like Paris and Rome, for example. be the cutest monument I ever went to see in a city. This little prince statue is so tiny you can barely find it but I definitely recommend you to come and see it. It's here inside Valea Morilor Park towards the north of the city I think. It's very tiny but you can find it on Google Maps and it's just really funny and you have to take a picture with it. And that concludes my visit to Chisinau. There's really a lot more to see than I thought. I am pleasantly surprised. It's a very quiet and calm city really enjoyed my time here of course if it's your first time in Europe I don't recommend you to spend time here because there are other European capitals that have much more to offer but if you have already seen quite a lot of the other cities I do recommend you to come here because it's just interesting to see welcome to Moldova I'm in the Moldavian countryside to be more precise I'm visiting Old Orhe today it's about a one hour drive from Chisinau. Speaking of Chisinau, I explored Chisinau yesterday. I just wanted to see a bit more of this country and get outside of the city, outside of the capital. I'm now visiting this old monastery on this huge rock. It already looked spectacular when driving in. I'm gonna walk up there. It's quite the hill and check it out. It's gonna be quite a short video because getting out here is not that easy. I took a taxi and now the taxi is waiting for me. I have about an hour and then he will take me back to the capital. So it's a bit of a hurry. If you want to do it with public transport, it is possible, but uh, quite difficult to do. All right, let's head up there and check out the monastery. up 
to the monastery is definitely already an attraction in itself. To the right you can see a very old and tiny village and to the left of course the big drop with the view of the beautiful fields, green and yellow fields and there are farmers working on it. It's very peaceful and really a nice experience just walking up, leading up to the monastery. So I kept walking now for a bit, it took me about five minutes to get to the top of the hill and see the church they have here. I had a look inside, it's quite small but really cute. So take your time, have a look around the, the garden they have as well. It's very nice and then come back and take in these beautiful views because that's obviously the best part about this area. So here we can get an overview of the site. I think you can also do some nice hikes in this area. There are some routes suggested here. And then up here we got some information about the place. The cave complex underneath the church you can see today was built in the 16th century. And then the church you can see was built in 1904. I'm now back at my hotel in Kijinau. Um, don't miss out if you visit this place, Old Hore. The cave monastery is very hidden. The entrance is underneath the first tower you'll see when you head up the hill to your right. Definitely go down there. There's a tunnel leading down and you can have a look inside the church underneath the earth and then also get a nice view towards the valley on the other side out. Old Hore is a very nice day trip from Kijinau. Very nice thing to do here in Moldova. It's definitely easier if you have your own car. Another option is to do what I did today, take a taxi, ask the taxi driver to wait for you and then take it back. It cost me about 50 to 60 euros in total, but you can also go with public transport as I said, but that might be a bit difficult. That concludes my time in Moldova. Overall, there are not tons of things to do here. There are a lot more exciting countries in Europe but if you're looking for a destination that is a bit off the beaten track, Moldova could definitely be your spot. Mm -hmm.